right, guys. So today in this episode, we will start with the iPhone 12 and 12 Pro. Uh, this is our OEM Flex. So we're just going to prep it for tag install. So as usual, we'll just bend it straight up and completely fold it all the way back against itself uh, behind the original Flex. So just crimp it back and pinch it so that the FPC is folded all the way back and facing the cell. We have our tag on here. So the actual tag on uh, will go against the cell. The metal uh, plate will go against the edge. And then we just align up the FPCs, uh, male and female, and then just give them a little push and connect them. Once the tag on is connected here, you'll see that it just sits parallel behind the OEM flex. And then the tab FPC from the tag on folds over. And now it's in the original orientation as the OEM FPC. So we'll move on into unwrapping and getting the BMS removed and prepped. So we'll just use our tweezers here, start picking away at this uh, top layer of adhesive. Um, so once we get it pulled back, we'll flip the battery over, peel the adhesive off the back. You'll see that the second layer adhesive uh, starts to come up. I only prevent this uh, for preference in the video just to show the different individual steps and different individual layers of the battery. but. It doesn't matter uh, up to you as far as like what you pull off and what order and how much, but basically this is just the top layer. Now we have it coming off the front. So once the whole uh, top layer is peeled away, you'll see the black uh, BMS protection board or protecting cover, sorry. So just use your tweezers, uh, reach underneath and just with a lifting motion, you can uh, lift it right off. There's just a couple of key points with some adhesive glue uh, that's securing it in place. Um, so just pull straight up with the tweezers and you'll see the adhesive uh, begin to break away and release. So once the protection board is removed, um, you don't have to save it or preserve it. You'll get replacement in the XCAT BMS, but then you can pull uh, straight out with the second layer uh, of adhesive tape. The BMS is wrapped up and folded uh, with this adhesive tape and then secured uh, to the cell. So you'll pull straight out from the tape and that will unfold and unwrap uh, the BMS board and then you'll see the leads exposed. So once it's unfolded and pulled out from the cell, you can then just peel the adhesive off the back of the BMS. So you'll see your uh, two leads here, the four laser welds securing each lead to the BMS. Um, this is where we want to use our ceramic scissors to sever the BMS from the cell. Um, so we'll reach in between the cell uh, and the BMS board and then just clip the lead. <coughs> Once you have it clipped and separated, uh, then you can flip the battery over and do the same thing to the other side. So with the ceramic tweezers, just reaching in between the battery cell and the BMS board, and then just clip that lead as well. Once both are clipped, um, then you can begin to prep the BMS for spot welding. We do that by removing the residual leads with our sharpening pin. So we use the flathead uh, tip and then we just use the edge of it. And then we're just gonna rub back and forth across the spot welds. So I have my hand uh, bracing below and above uh, the pad here. And then my hand is, the whole forearm is rested against the table. And I'm just allowing about a quarter inch, eighth of an inch back and forth, uh, rubbing the grinding pin across these spot welds. That's just gonna break the spot welds down and see that the residual lead just flies right off. And we're just gonna smooth out this pad so that we have a clean uh, surface to spot weld to. We'll do the same thing to the other side. Uh, the second lead here, we're just gonna grind back and forth across these leads. You'll see in a couple areas, this BMS does have protective tape around it, um, the, around the pad. Um, so you'll see where a couple times where I touch that uh, with the grinding pin. And just be very careful in this manner. What you see here is not concerning and not critical. There's no actual damage here. Um, just be careful when you are uh, doing this procedure. Uh, so once you have the residual lead cleaned off and ready for uh, spot welding, you'll notice that it's just like the 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max is. So <coughs> we have the XCAT BMS here. We're removing our protective covers from our leads. You'll see that we have uh, our modified lead and our full nickel lead. Our modified lead here, you can see our laser welds uh, to secure the nickel tab to the aluminum lead. 
<coughs> this is our full nickel lead. So the protective uh, cover here is for some uh, pre-applied adhesive. I'm just using the back of the tweezers here to rub and secure it in place. It's just creased in the corner here. So we'll just do this so the adhesive doesn't come up when we pull the uh, protective strip off. So once it's removed, this is basically going to secure the BMS in place. We're not going to use any jigs, so just like 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, this BMS is just going to sit directly uh, to the cell. So you'll put it in place and you'll align it uh, on the uh, connecting side. So you'll see the OEM flex. It's going to wrap on the outside of the cell. So you can see the tab there on the cell is folded up and then the OEM flex fits uh, and bends around it up and over it. So make sure the BMS is secured there and pushed into place, tucked up against the cell uh, snug. Once it's in place, uh, the adhesive will hold it there, uh, basically, and then you can take the tabs and you're just going to fold them up into place. You'll see the adhesive uh, is extended. That's going to just allow the leads to secure to the edge end of the cell. So once these leads are uh, bent and aligned into the proper position, you'll just bend over at a 90 degree angle around the cell and then just uh, sit flush on top of the uh, pad there for spot welding. So we'll do the same on both sides, just getting them bent and aligned so that we can weld them into place. Since we have that done on this side, we already have it done on the other side, so they're bent up. Just make sure that they're flat and flush as can be. So then we'll grab our spot welder. Using uh, power uh, between one and three, uh, same technique as usual. So we'll just create a brace point here and then with our other pin, we're just going to lightly touch, making sure we give a secure contact, but not a lot of pressure. So it's more about a feather light touch here. Misconception on this technique, um, is that people want to push these pins into place and when they're not welding securely, they want to push harder. Um, that's going to be counterproductive uh, and produce a lot of annoyances here. So just make sure this is done. Uh, four to eight welds, uh, one directly beside each other and then below uh, two rows of four. And then I come back and I retouch these points uh, between one and two times uh, just to make sure that they are very secure. So on both leads here, just creating the brace point and touching our welds. Uh, after it's welded, we'll do a little pull test snug and make sure that they are secure. Now you don't want to move on until you actually uh, confirm that your welds uh, are in place here. So uh, make sure that that's done um, and then we'll finish up with the final wrap. Thank you again. So <clears throat> we got our first piece of wrap here, the narrow rectangle. So we just align it up against the edge of the cell, fold the battery over, seal it into place, grab our protective uh, plastic cover. It comes with the BMS battery inside the packaging. Just slip it uh, right on to the BMS. It'll fit in between the two folds on the actual cell, and then that'll just protect the board. So we'll take the final uh, wrap, uh, the one with the two tabs on each side. Once we <coughs> have it removed and ready to apply, you basically want to take the corner edge and align it with the corner of the battery and then slide it over so that there's a little bit of overhang that's just going to center it up. And then with aligning that corner, inside corner with the corner of the battery, um, and then centering the sticker. That's going to allow the tabs to be in the proper position uh, once we get everything folded up. So once we have everything aligned uh, in the right position, then we'll just push onto the adhesive and apply it into place. And then take the battery and we're just going to fold it up onto its end and then that's just going to apply the uh, adhesive, the longer tab, uh, to the edge of the cell and then we can pull back the longer tab and seal the back of the cell. So that's just going to seal in the protective cover and the BMS and give it that nice clean finish. Then we'll grab our tabs and we'll pull them straight over and we'll seal them to the back of the battery. That gives us that good clean finished look. Do the same on both sides and then that will finish up our final wrap. And then I'm going to do a quick recap here for the tag on. So you just take your original OEM 
BMS FPC, fold it all the way back against itself, and pinch it in place so it's facing the actual cell. Take your tag on, the back plate will go against the cell. It will run parallel with the OEM flex. So I'm just gonna grab it with my tweezers. I'm just gonna line up the two FPCs, male and female, a quick push into place, and that's going to connect them. Once they're connected, then you can fold over the tab from the actual tag on. It's going to be in the proper orientation to connect to the logic board. And that's pretty much it. I appreciate your guys again. Thank you.